back everybody to another episode of Lured and Outdoors. Today, we've got some cold front crappie action. Right now I'm on my way to a lake here in Otter Tail County. It's one of the bigger ones, I'll let you figure it out for yourselves. But anyways, I'm out there to, going out there today. I got a buddy from work, he gave me the keys to his ice castle. So I'm gonna be fishing in some cold weather. I think my truck says, truck only says eight below, but it's supposed to drop pretty low tonight. Um, it's Wednesday, February 10th. We'll try to catch some crappies. It's set up there, he's been catching them uh, here and there throughout the last week, week and a half. So, go try my luck, get a little bit of time tonight. Put some uh, put temptation power to work and see what can happen. That's what I got. Catch me when we get there. Two. Ladies and gentlemen, I have made it. I don't know if you can see behind me. I'm fishing out of that black one right there. But I'm um, gonna get the generator hooked up so I got some heat. I don't even have my big boots on. My boots are uh, right here. So I brought them just in case, but I'm not gonna need it. There's a little bit of a drift I don't have to walk through, but other than that, it's not gonna be too bad. But uh, I'm gonna go get the generator hooked up, bring the rods inside. He said a hole should already be drilled. So man, I'm fishing in luxury today. But uh, hopefully get on some crappies. There's gotta be a few in this area with all the houses here. There's like four houses within probably 30 yards of each other but other than that let's get in, out here and let's go catch some fish sun's already going down it should be perfect time for a prime time bite keep it tuned all right ladies and gentlemen we're here in the house we we'll pop some holes out i just got everything kind of situated generator isn't starting for me it's a little chilly it's been in the truck all day let that heat up here i got a little 12 volt battery this thing's running off of two so Got some lights, got the heater going anyways, warm me up because it's like 10 below. But just fish one rod, I'm only fishing plastic today, so we'll see what happens. I'm gonna pop this hole and we'll get after. Let's get fishing. Oh! It can come back, it'll come back. Oh, look at that, it's coming back. Got him. So look at that. Oh, good fish. Good fish. Good crappie. Good crappie. Look at that. Look at that. That's how you want him to eat it, too. Exactly like that. Right in the roof of the mouth. Is that a gorgeous 11 incher? Something like that? I'm gonna put him on the board. Let's see what happens. Mouth closed. 11, 11 and a quarter. Look at that, 11 and a quarter, mouth closed. Gorgeous, gorgeous crappie. Awesome, I haven't even been here for five minutes, but I'm not keeping today, I'm gonna let him go. Gone, kicked off strong. Woo! Like I said, all I'm using is a little chartreuse and white with a little green with a snot colored dragonfly and it's just sitting there bouncing. That's all it is. A dragon, whatever it's called, I don't even remember. But I'm gonna get back down there, see if I can't get myself another. Another thing to remember, we talked about this in previous videos before too, especially crappie fishing, but I'm in 31, 32 feet of water, and that fish was only like two feet off bottom, foot and a half off bottom. Take her up nice and slow, especially if you're planning on releasing these fish, and that fish kicked off super, super strong. Um, but you gotta remember that, just because of that air, the pressure down there versus the pressure up here is so much different, it, it can hurt their air and their sacks inside of them, so. You'll notice it especially on uh, Lake of the Woods with walleyes, but that crappie kicked off strong. It looked healthy coming up the hole. I took my time with it. I, can, I feel confident letting that fish go. But I want to get another one. That's that's the goal next. There's one way up high. Got him. This, this bite is so light and so tough 
this Temptation Power. I could see that bite. I missed it the first time because it was such a light bite. Ooh. 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 Woohoo! Look at that. That's what I'm talking about here, kids. Kiddos, that's what I'm talking about. I'm trying to get my other camera set up. I haven't been here for 10 minutes. I got another gorgeous, gorgeous copy. That one's got to be about 10 inches. And I love my salt and pepper, but I've got copies yet from this late this summer in the freezer. I don't need any more. So I'm letting them go today. This one came from about 25 feet down, and, and I'm in 32, so it was way suspended, unlike that last fish. But gosh, gorgeous crappie. I'm letting this one go. Look at that. I just released that last fish, and I'm on my way down. I set my rod down. Oh, oh. Oh, there's like four of them down there. Where do I go? Do I go? There's ones at about 27 feet, and there's one at 31 feet. I don't know which one to go through. I went to the higher one. Coming in from all over the screen. There's not, it's weird, it's not one set depth usually. Usually crappie fishing, there's one set depth of like five feet in the water column that they'll, they'll hang out at. You know that. Here, I caught that first one foot off bottom. I just marked, I caught that second one seven feet off bottom. I just marked one 12 feet off bottom. I had another one at four feet off bottom and one on bottom. At the same time, I all, all those at the same time. I don't know what to do. I'm just gonna chase them. I guess that's all you can do. Got him. Now I pulled drag. Wow, that took forever. A good copy, I bet. Didn't dig at the bottom of the hole. Yes. There we go. Look at that. He ate that. I'm not going to waste any time. It's another 11 inch right there all day long. Back on the hole. Got him. On. Look at that. Maybe they're turning on. I'll take my time here. That one kicked off nice and strong. He just sat there for a little. He's a little dazed. I think this one's a nicer one. I do think it's a nicer one. Oh, oh. oh we got kind of on the ice. That's why. Look at that. Just another freaking crappie. Wow. Wow. That one was hungry. Whoop, pop out. Ooh, that might be close to my bigger one. This one's coming up. I'm gonna wait till this one. That's why I'm gonna wait, because I hooked up. Hooked up. Hooked up. Digging out the hole. Actually, it's, all, it's still five feet down. Ooh. Ooh. Look at that. Look at that. Wrapped in the deucer. That's got to be the biggest one of the day. Got to be the biggest of the day. Just look at it. I'm going to measure this quick. Mouth closed. Eleven and a half. Do I get eleven and a half? Yep, eleven and a half. Bye bye. Got him. Wow. I like. I dropped it, and that one ate it as I dropped it. I don't think it's very big. Could be wrong, but I don't think it's very big. This way. It's probably about the same. This one's a little bit smaller. Not much. Wrapped around the deucer. Oh, maybe they're a little smaller. 
hooked right in the top of the mouth, right where you want them. Gosh, another just gorgeous crappie. Tough to beat that. Wow. Why did I wait so long to catch crappies this year? Jeez. Just another one of them 11 and a another one of them 11 and a quarter inches, just like that. It's going down the hole. Kicked off strong. Oh, that one just chomped it. Oh. If it's fighting like its size, it's got to go 12. At least 12. If it's proportional to how it's fighting, this one's got to go all of 12. Oh, it's a bummer hole. Come do, sir. And you know what? It might go a little bit bigger. But guess what? It's another one of them cookie cutters. Right in the top of the mouth. Wow. This is just awesome. I needed my crappie fix. Look at that. Again, just another gorgeous, gorgeous crappie. It's got some shoulders on them. This one's gonna go. Josh. Another 11 and a quarter, 11 and a half incher. Tough to beat, man. Tough to beat. Got him. He uplifted me. He took me up. I think I saw my. I didn't even feel that one. My rod tip just bounced, and I was like, that's how I know. Why I use a temptation power fishing crappies. Such the, the soft tip helps fight them into the stronger backbone, especially on ones that are in deeper water and they can tend to rise up pretty quick. That's probably my smallest one of the day. That one's what, 10? 10 and a half? That's gotta be my smallest crappie of the day. But again, not keeping today. I would, this one would have been number nine for my limit, but she's going to go down the hole. Boom, just like that. Okay. Well, I can't seem to get one of these fish to bite. And I've got a hard stop here in five minutes, almost eight o'clock. Um, probably going to give it another minute or two, but I think the battery is dying in the house here, so the heater actually isn't working. It's just blowing air now instead of hot air, so... I think it's about time for me to get rolling and get the heck out of here, but I caught nine crappies tonight, lost one halfway up the hole, and that's a pretty good ratio for me. Um, first time I've been on crappies all year long, and I am absolutely enjoying it. Like, this is awesome. I don't know why I didn't do this in, earlier in the year. I was in such a walleye mode and perch mode and devils that never even, never even went out target crappies, which is completely unlike me. So, um, this is feels good to get out and catch a few crappies anyways through the ice and they're all good crappies too all that 11 11 and a quarter 11 and a half inch except for two one was like 10 and three quarters one was like 10 and a half so they're all real solid crappies um, I can't complain whatsoever it's good real good crappie bright so like I said it's almost eight o'clock I'm gonna wrap it up got one more fish on the screen here I've had fish on the screen all the time but they've shut down the last 20 minutes so um, anyways, I'm going to wrap her up. I think this is our first copy video all year, so hope you enjoyed. Um, keep her tuned here. I think next weekend, um, this next episode, I think we're going to try to head up to Lake of the Woods. I know I might have said that in the last one, but um, we've got a hotel room booked up there and we got a weekend trip. So, Lake of the Woods is coming soon. Oh. On! Look at that! I can end on a fish! Right in the middle of the outro. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Oh, oh. Oh, you're caught on the, caught on the bottom of the ice. Shoot. And it's a good crappie, too. I'm not doing it. I don't care. I'm not doing it.
here he comes. Would you look at that? Last crappie of the night might be the biggest one. I don't know. Nah, it's probably about the same size cookie cutter. Oh yeah, hook popped out too. But with that, I think I'm gonna end the episode. Hope you enjoyed. I love catching crappies, so I didn't keep any tonight. Still lively. Look at that. Big ol' coffee. Alright, keep it tuned. Hope you enjoyed.